Today, I will cover how to sync data to the Repsoto Cloud and other best practices related to the upload process. It is very important to upload your data to the Repsoto Cloud after it is recorded. If you do not upload your data, you run the risk of data loss. This can also slow down your processing time within the app. We recommend uploading data on a regular basis after data is recorded. Ideally, you will do it at the end of each day when you're collecting data. In order to upload data, your iPad must be connected to regular internet. You cannot be connected to the Rapsodo unit because it does not produce a real internet signal. Once your iPad is connected to regular Wi-Fi, navigate to the Rapsodo Diamond app. In the app, you will be able to see any sessions that you have recorded that have not been uploaded, indicated by a cloud with a red X icon. Here you can see that Megan Rady has a session that needs to be uploaded. In order to upload your data, you must initiate the sync process. It will not happen automatically on its own. Technically, you can upload data from any screen where you see the arrow icon. On the play tab, you see the arrow icon in the top left. This is the same as the team tab as well. With best practices, we recommend uploading while navigating to the settings tab. Once you are in the settings tab, go to the upload progress tab. This screen is very helpful because it tells you the exact progress of your data uploading, as well as how many files you have left and how far you are along in that progress. In order to initiate the upload process, simply click the arrow icon in the top left corner. The arrow will begin to spin, which means that the process has begun. As you will see here, you'll start to see files uploading to the cloud. The files that first show up indicate data being uploaded to the cloud. This is typically uploaded very quickly within the first couple of seconds after pressing the icon. After that, you will see files called .rif. These files are uploaded if you have diagnostic mode turned on during your sessions. Diagnostic mode is only necessary if you are troubleshooting with the Rapsodo team. After that, you will see videos uploading. The videos show up as black MOV files and typically take longer to upload. These videos, as you can see here, populated individually for every video taken of each pitch or swing. You will see in the top left-hand corner the countdown of how many files are left and the total number that you have. Now that that is completely finished, the upload is done. We can scroll through here and see that all of my MOV files for videos have uploaded as well as any diagnostic files and then the data as well. Um, this indicates that everything has been uploaded to the cloud. In a normal scenario when you are recording data heavily as well as videos, we do recommend leaving your iPad open. That way it doesn't fall asleep during the upload progress. If we were to close out or the iPad were to lock during this process, the sync would time out. In order to avoid this, we recommend turning your iPad to never lock, which is just in your general settings. under display and brightness and then you can change the auto lock to never this will ensure that your ipad doesn't fall asleep during the upload progress progress as well you can also plug your ipad into the charger to ensure it doesn't die while data is being uploaded In order to check that your data has been successfully uploaded to the cloud, you can log into your Rapsodo Coach account. The URL for the cloud website is cloud.rapsodo.com. We recommend accessing the cloud website on a computer on Google Chrome. Once you have logged into the cloud website, you can navigate to either the team tab or the data tab. 
Here you will find your roster of players as well as their last play date. Keep an eye out for the players that have recently recorded data and did a session when you uploaded it. You can see here that Megan has a session from April 4th. In order to view the session, click on the name. Once on the player profile, navigate to the Sessions tab. On the Sessions tab, you can see all recent sessions underneath the filtered time frame. In order to open the session, click the date. Next, you will navigate to Details. And then under Details, you can see data for every pitch or swing that was taken during that session. You can also notice that there is a video icon on the right hand side. If the video was taken and has been uploaded successfully, you will see that the icons are red. If the icons are yellow, that indicates that a video was recorded but has not been fully uploaded to the cloud. If you see yellow icons, we recommend going back into the Diamond app and syncing again from the Upload Progress tab. It is possible that the sync timed out or did not finish uploading, so that is why you are seeing the data but not the videos. If you do have further questions on the upload process, pl please feel free to contact our support team. You can send us an email to support at rapsoto.com or you can give us a call at 844-772-7763.